Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Harrogate Town versus Bradford City match vlog if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on today's game as well down in the comment section down below and now we have lost every time we've played Harrogate since they've come back into the FL. I think since they've come into the AFL. I don't think they've been in it previously. So I'm expecting a defeat today, I can't lie. I know I, I usually I like to be positive, but when I usually predict a negative result, we get a positive result. So I'm going to go with 2 to Harrogate today. I think they scored like one goal in five. They haven't won a game since mid-August. Some crazy stats like that. They were really struggling at the moment. He's written in the stars for Matty Daly to score. I don't know if Rory McArdle's actually fit yet for Harrogate. Because I know he did join them a couple of years ago, but... I don't think he's currently fit at the moment. It's going to be another tough game. Hopefully we can see like Vidane score again, Andy Cook get back on the score sheet, all that sort of stuff. Hopefully we can finally break the Harrogate curse as well because we've been breaking a, a couple curses recently with the Steve Evans curse and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully we can get one over Harrogate. But I think we've lost all four matches we've played against him in the last two years. So oh, just even a goal today would be absolutely fantastic. Make sure you drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well. I shall see you all. I believe it's like the Eco Environment Stadium. I have actually been there before when they put seven goals past us in a pre-season game but never in a competitive match. I shall see you all though when we're there. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, why is no one here? Why is no one there? Nah. No. Oh, look at him. Go kick. Oh. Half time, one no uh, Camera wouldn't turn on, but we are underway for the second half. Yes, Timmy boy. Timmy. Losing the ball in a stupid area, midfield with nowhere to be seen. It's deserved though. Again, we've been poor since we've scored. First change of the game, Chapman off, angle on, Chapman again, he's just not a number 10, he's just not number 10, play him on the wing and he plays well, play him in the middle and he plays awful. And second change, Pereira coming off, which is good, because Pereira's been awful again, but Sutton on, on the wing makes no sense. We have wingers on the bench, he's playing midfielders on the wing again. Come on! Oh Andy, you've got to hit the target. Oh Andy. Top right there. Pick up the pieces! Oh, oh. What a professional yeah. yeah, well in Andy. Oh, Andy. He's already been uh, done two more fouls since then, so Jan on for the last ten and fourth change of the game. Andy Cook off for Dan Oliver on. There's a goal. Andy, Andy Cook. Andy Cook. Andy Cook. Andy, Andy Cook. He gets the ball. He scores a goal. Andy, Andy Cook. Oh, that's a great ball. Well done, Critchlow. That's my streamer right there. Oh, shit. Stop the goal. Stop the goal. Stop the goal. Stop the goal. 
And again, Roms. Uh oh. Oh, Matty Fold. Matty Fold is the best left back in the league. Handball and offside, you're gonna hold it all. Offside, then the handball. Where's your caravan? Love City, we do. Love City, we do. Oh, City, we love you. Love City, we do. Love City, we do. Love City, we do. All City, we love you. Yeah! Come on! And there we have it then, another big three points on the board. Now at the time of recording, the games are still going ahead, but at full time of our game, we were up to fourth in the table. Again, I don't think we've played particularly well today whatsoever. We started well, we scored the goal, and then after that we just went a bit flat, and it's been the reoccurring theme, I feel, over the last couple of games, where we've got that first goal, we've looked well up until that, we get the goal, and we sit back, we're a little bit cautious, and eventually we do concede. It's another goal that we've conceded inside the first five, ten minutes of the second half as well. It's a great strike, but the ball breaks freely for them. Our midfield is nowhere to be seen. Our defence is a little bit all over this place. Halliday's being caught out. It's a great strike. Maybe Lewis could do better. He's at his near post, but Lewis Smith threw a four unbelievable save today. So I'm not going to um, put any shame on his name, to be honest with you. Again, I don't think we played particularly great. I thought there were some good performances. Though. I thought Matty Folds was absolutely unbelievable. I thought Platt looked decent, as always, as well. I was liking Smallwood and Gilead in the midfield. I thought them two were both having a fairly decent game. I don't know what's happened to Dion Pereira, but he just does not look the same player that he was at the end of last season since he's come back I've not been impressed with him whatsoever Harry Chapman again started well when he was playing out on the left and then he gets moved into the middle and just doesn't do a fat lot thought Angle looked really bright though when he came on and was playing as a number 10 but then Oliver looked good when he came on off the bench I don't understand Hugh's obsession with playing Levi Sutton on the wing when we've got a naturally fit wingers like Jake Young on the bench it doesn't really make sense to me I don't really know why he plays Sutton on the wing because it doesn't really work because he's clearly not a winger but I guess that's the only real place you can see him get him game time if he wants to play Songo as a midfielder so lots for Hughes to think about again don't think it was the best performance we've got another week now to rest and recover and go again against Stockport next week if you have enjoyed watching today's video please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could join it 100 likes as I said at the start of today's video that would be absolutely class apologies about the quality of today's video not being the greatest the weather with how rainy it was was just made it awful to film the structure of the stand as well meant you couldn't really see anything on the far side so i do apologize about that as well but make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification button it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on today's win as well down in the comment section down below thank you very much for watching have a great rest of your day and i shall see you all very soon for another video peace